very excited to wrap it up after working on it for almost three months. Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of my upskilling diaries as a data scientist living and working here in Sydney, Australia. Today I'm going to be bringing you along a work day in my life and also sharing with you what I've been focusing on at work lately because there's been some very exciting developments. I'll also be sharing some of the realities that I face working in a really small company and small team leading the data function and also the pressure to upskill that comes with that. Um, I know I've been in this field for almost eight years now, but it still feels like I've barely scratched the surface of all there is to learn. Later on in this video, I'll also be sharing with you some of my tips and resources that I have learned and gathered over the past month as I've been upskilling in both Python and neural networks. Let's get straight into the workday now. Bye bye. I've been so tired lately and sleeping for almost nine hours every day. My morning routine is very simple. I make my bed, brush my teeth, wash my face, and drink a big cup of water before caffeinating. This particular day I was feeling very fancy and I made a dirty matcha latte with soy milk, so good. I start my workday around 9am with my text stand up as usual and my team is really chill with our work hours as long as things get done. See you later. For those of you that are new here, my name is Vivian and I am currently working in the product and tech arm of a growth marketing company here in Sydney, Australia. We have a portfolio of customers for whom we run marketing services for and try to help them grow their respective businesses and customer base. My specific team owns an internal platform that helps our clients better understand their marketing efforts. Today I am finalizing all my code from my I'm just documenting all that and we'll just be doing another bunch of brainstorming on what's next in terms of... My stomach is like grumbling. I'm gonna go make some lunch now and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Now, since my last work update, I've been using AI very heavily to extract insights from unstructured data like text messages and phone calls, and also doing a bunch of super cool trends and distributions over time to help our clients figure out what their customers are actually asking for, and if there's any data opportunities there for them to poke into. I've also been a lot more involved in product development for our company, and I'm a core part of our weekly product update meetings, which is honestly very exciting to be able to influence these high-level decisions and be part of building a tool that really adds value. OpenAI has now become a household name, and it seems like every business is using it to some extent, which they should. And maybe this is my maths degree talking, but I don't get as much kick implementing or fine-tuning an existing GPT model. I almost want to build something myself, and I really do miss the theory behind these models to deeper understand how they work. Now this can be really tough, especially when there are so, so many updates and breakthroughs every single week, and we just haven't got that much time outside of work hours to be upskilling. V, and then I can just link that CSV to ChatGPT, and around there, it can then analyze the content. I've actually been blocking out one hour a day to upskill or just read articles. I am currently working on the deep learning specialization by Andrew Ng. I believe that's how you say his name. And this is actually a course that I've been wanting to do forever, but I never carved out the time. I did his machine learning specialization maybe four years ago, and that was really good. But now I want to expand my knowledge given how prevalent AI is these days. And I should also have a YouTube short up on neural networks explained in one minute. Please go check that one out. It took me a very long time to edit and make. And if you're watching this and feeling imposter syndrome or at a bit of a crossroads, just know that nobody truly knows everything. And the people who talk a lot in meetings are just more confident, but it doesn't mean they're more knowledgeable. Some of my tips for my fellow tech friends would be aim to have a deep understanding in just a couple of areas within your field and a much more broader, high level understanding of the rest. So this way you can still get by. Remember that so much learning happens during the exploratory phase of a project. So don't worry if you don't know everything because no one truly does. Also work on your domain knowledge. So if you work in say health tech, make sure you read up about the healthcare industry. And if you work in banking, make sure to improve your finance knowledge. 
Also use AI and free resources on the internet to your advantage and not just with coding but with brainstorming ideas. And lastly, communication really is key so that you can clearly articulate and translate complex data problems into business solutions. And yes, these skills do take time to develop, but it does require you to also be conscious of the areas you need to improve in. You might need to work a bit more outside of work hours, but putting in the hard work today is how you're going to get ahead of others tomorrow. Lately, I've also been receiving a lot of DMs for interview and career advice, and I've been trying my hardest to respond to all of you. I've recently started using TopMate, a platform that allows me to host one-on-one -on -one sessions, whether it's career mentoring, interview prep, or even resume reviews. I know that I tried to make my tips in my videos as generic as possible, but there really is no one-size-fits-all solution. And I'm really hoping that I can connect with some of you and really help you tailor your data science journey and land your next role. probably gonna head to bed now given it's almost 12 o'clock and I still need to take a shower but I've been trying to fit in as much upskilling as I can after work hours just in the evenings.